principle is so this one's built by we've got the double glazed glass behind that that's a tire wall so it's an amount of thermal mass there it doesn't have to be tire wall it could be brick or um, you know stone cob whatever at the bottom of the tire wall there's a, a gap that goes from um, it goes from the outside so it's the gaps behind this glass it goes underneath the tire wall into the room behind and there's a gap at the top as well okay. so what happens is the sun comes through the window the sun's heat and it heats up the thermal mass of the wall behind and the cool air which is at the bottom of the room behind uh, comes through the gap at the bottom and is heated up by the thermal mass the, the heat that's been soaked up by um, from the sun it's heated up and it goes into the room behind through the gap because it's everything's trying to equalize the room is colder inside than the temperature between the the glass and the wall on the outside so what you get is a nice convection current sort of going over the tire wall and then the cold air coming back through under the tire wall now if some things to consider if it's cold outside and nice and warm in there the convection current will go the other way round you get the heat from the room rising up going through that hole being cooled by the wall and go back into the room through the hole at the bottom which you, you don't want that so well this should be nicely well yeah going sort of through the double glazing obviously you need quite high spec glass here for it to be nicely sealed in um, and you need either to block up the holes at night time or you can have one way vents on them and um, you can get that like, if you google it there's so many variations and some are a lot more sophisticated than others um, another disadvantage that you can see with this one is these windows aren't open so there's no way of cleaning behind the glass there so you can see all dirt's got in when they did the plaster in and you know insects get through and everything like that and you can't there's no way of cleaning it without taking the building apart and the other thing is that actually in reality these holes were blocked up when they did the plaster in and never unblocked so this isn't a functioning trom wall uh, <laughs> many people ask what is the point of a trom wall well there might be some reason why you want kind of privacy but to still use so passive solar and thermal mass so you might have a massage room behind there um, or you might have a studio where you're doing drawing and you don't want just a bright light coming in you need a nice north light um, or you know some sort of you want some kind of privacy or a bedroom but if you shut the curtains then you stop the sun's energy coming in so this is a way of getting privacy without um, but still getting the heat in also they're quite good for um, like retrofit so if you have a south facing wall on an existing building you could use this idea to get heat in to your building so i've seen <coughs> someone who had like a conservatory on the south facing wall and he had vents at, on the, in the inside he had vents at the top and the bottom on his house wall so that the heat was fed from the conservatory into his home and he just manually blocked them up so that, that's the trombone.